Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new, please subscribe if you like good vibes. This is another nail dit and I'll be applying a set of the Gel Fantasy Press On Nails by KISS. I've done a video on this before, however, I love the last set so much that I had to run it back. So I'll be using a different shape and a different color, but it's basically from the same collection. So let's get right to it. Hey smileys. I've started to use press-ons as a protective style, much like protective hairstyles. They keep my natural nails tucked away and protect it. I'm making some progress with my natural nail growth journey as you can see. My goal is to grow out each nail at least an inch. So keep watching and tune in to see my growth each week. Now, every grade manicure starts with nail prep, right? Nail preparation is one of the most important steps in a proper DIY manicure. First, remove any nail polish from nails using a cotton swab and a bit of nail polish remover to make sure the natural nails are clean and free of any dirt and oil. Then, trim nails to the desired length using fingernail clippers, if it's necessary. I skipped that step here because I want to retain all nail growth. I began by pushing back my cuticles. I'm using a double-sided metal cuticle pusher to do that. This metal cuticle pusher is easy to clean and disinfect, and it's easy to use. This tool has become essential to my nail prep routine, and I absolutely love it. Then I file and shape my natural nails using a nail file with a gentle grit. That is key. A gentle grit typically means the file was made to be used on natural nails. Coarser grits are intended for use with artificial or fake nails. After that, I use a buffer to smooth out any remaining bumps and ridges. These are also known as sanding blocks and they have four sides. Finally, I dust my fingers, then use a wooden orange stick to clean underneath each nail. The orange stick is traditionally made of wood, but they can also be metal, like the one I used earlier in this video. And it's typically a dual-sided tool. One side is usually pointed to clean underneath the nail, and one side is for pushing back the cuticle. But that wraps up my nail prep. Wash both hands using hand soap and a nail brush to remove any remaining dust and oil, and you're ready to apply the press-ons. However, I first apply two coats of Sally Hansen's Nail Growth Miracle Growth Treatment. I did this in my last nail dit as well, featuring the Kiss Gel Fantasy Press-On Nails, and it didn't affect how long they lasted, so I'm also doing it here. After all, I'm more concerned with making sure that my natural nails are protected than I am with how long the press-ons last. These should last a week or about seven days or so using the nail glue. I also use Sally Hansen's Nail Growth Miracle Serum, which is a gel-based nail growth treatment. Just apply one drop to each nail and cuticle and rub it in. Now for the press-ons. This kit comes with 28 nails, nail glue, a mini file, a mini orange stick, and adhesive tabs if you don't want to use nail glue. So you have options, which is good. Pick out and set aside the nails that best fit your natural nail shape. If the nail doesn't fit perfectly, it's okay. Just use a gentle grit file to shape the nail to your natural nail shape. To apply them, apply glue to the back of the fake nail. I prefer brush-on glue, so the glue that I'm using here is not the glue included in the kit. That one comes in a dropper. Align the nail with the cuticle and gently press on and hold for five to 10 seconds or until the glue sets or dries. Easy. Repeat this process for each finger. Press-on nails are a great way to add style and length to your natural nails without the damage that comes with a gel or acrylic manicure. They're perfect if you're someone who likes to change up your nails often or if you don't have a lot of time to spend at a salon or doing your own nails. They're quick and easy. Press-ons don't chip, they never lose their shine or shape, and if one comes off prematurely, you can just clean it, remove any old glue, and glue it right back on. 
These are extra long stiletto shaped nails in a light gray color. So cute. Stiletto nails are a more pointed version of an almond shaped nail. They tend to make the fingers appear longer and slimmer. Finally, I just used a file to smooth the edge of each nail and then applied a little OPI cuticle oil. You all know I love cuticle oil. I never skip that step. This one is a brush on oil that is rich yet lightweight. It has grapeseed oil, sesame oil, sunflower, and avocado oil. It provides moisture and conditions the cuticles. So here's the final set. Let me know what you all think. I hope you all found the video helpful. If so, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Mm.